It began with a procession just moments after the remains of a World War II veteran arrived at DIA. The motorcade filled with decorated veterans and family who never had the pleasure of meeting Marine Corps Sergeant Donald Stoddard. It's still family, so it's really neat. After 78 years of waiting, loved ones can finally give the proper thanks. After that much time, you begin to wonder if it would, it would ever happen. And it did, in the same place where Sergeant Stoddard enlisted before being deployed in 1941 and before losing his life in 1943 on the third day of battle. The island of Bedio in the Tarawa Atoll. Stoddard's oldest surviving nephew, who bears the same first name, waited for his remains to be identified. Through our DNA testing, that's how they officially identified him. Stoddard's parents always planned for this day. His parents bought this plot for him when they realized he wasn't going to be able to come home. Now his final resting place, his great great nephew Sergeant Brendan Jarvis is following in his footsteps, learning the true meaning of sacrifice. Thank you for being the example that I'm you know, following to this day, and thank you for making the ultimate sacrifice so that I could be here today. Thank you. And I am so glad for your service. I am so glad for your sacrifice, and I'm glad you're back with your family. We welcome you. We love you. Rest. In Boulder, I'm Darius Johnson, 9 News.